Hello YouTube, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we're talking about the Word 2016 exam and we're looking at the domain called Create and Manage References. Overall, this takes up a small part of the exam, only five to 10%, but let me go and throw up a graphic so you can see what this domain covers. In this domain, we're gonna cover Create and Manage Reference Markers and Create and Manage Simple References. Let's go ahead and jump into Word. We are looking at the Word 2016 exam, and we're looking at the domain called Create and Manage References. Overall, this is only 5 to 10% of the overall exam. This domain kind of gives a lot of people a lot of headaches. Knowing that it's only 5 to 10% of the overall exam should put you at ease if you're one of those people. Let's look at the subdomain called Create and Manage Reference Markers. The first thing it tells us that we need to be able to do is to insert footnotes and endnotes. So let's go ahead and look here at New Hampshire. And we're going to go to the References tab here at the top. My students often want to look on the Insert tab, but where we want to be is the References tab for this. And then we have in the footnote section the ability to insert a footnote or insert an endnote. For this, we'll just go ahead and insert the footnote. But we put our cursor here at the end of New Hampshire before we did that. Make sure you have your cursor in the correct spot before you do this. And notice it went ahead and it put that here for us. Let's go ahead and cut this text here. I'm going to do control X on my keyboard to cut that. And then what I'm going to do here is right click in the footnote and I'm just going to paste the text only. And now we've created that footnote. We're also told that we need to be able to modify the footnote or the endnote properties. So let's go ahead and select this line here. And what I'm going to do is right click. And some things you might be asked to do is maybe change some of the paragraph settings here. Or the styles. Or the note options. This is probably where you're going to do most of your changes. You can put where you want your footnotes. You can change the columns. But if you're asked to modify anything, you're most likely going to be asked to change the number format here. And so just be mindful of the different settings that you can apply to footnotes or endnotes. Go ahead and click cancel here. We're also told that we need to be able to create bibliography citation sources. We're on the references tab still. We're in the citations and bibliography group. And what we want to do is just click insert citation here and click add new source. In our type of source, you want to make sure you select the correct section based upon whatever the task asks you to do. We might be asked to put a book source in or you could do things like a website. So we'll go ahead and select that. We'll go ahead and create a fake source. And once we've typed that in, we'll go ahead and click OK. We should also know how to modify bibliography citation sources. Now that we've created that first one, we can click Manage Sources. It gives us right here that entry that we made. With this selected, we can click Edit. And maybe we wanted to put YouTube as our URL. Once we've edited that, we can click OK. Yeah, we'll go ahead and update both because we have our master list and our current list here. We'll click Yes. And then we'll click Close. And notice that it put it down here because of where my cursor was when I started making the citation. If I needed to delete that, I could. With that selected, hit the backspace key or the delete key on my keyboard. And now that's gone. Maybe I want to apply it here at the bottom of this paragraph. I could click Insert Citation and then select what we created. And it went ahead and put that there for us. This subdomain tells us that we also need to be able to insert figure and table captions. So I have this picture of the star. And what I'm going to do is insert a caption. And I can do that from this section here, or I can just right click on it and select Insert Caption. It could tell me to insert some type of caption. For this, we'll just go ahead and put in star. For the label options, I can change it from figure to equation or table. We'll leave it at figure. You have the option of changing it to above or below, or you can exclude this label from the caption. But once you're done, you can click OK. And it went ahead and put that caption here for us. With that caption, notice that maybe I wanted a space between figure one and star. I can click here and just click the space bar to edit that caption and then click out of it. I also have a field here that I can edit. If I right click here, I can click edit field. And then there's a lot of sections here that I can play around with, but we'll click cancel. The second subdomain that we need to look at is called create and manage simple references. 
the first thing it tells us that we need to be able to do is to insert a standard table of contents. Let's go ahead and put our cursor at the very end of this document and hit enter until we have at least a blank space here. And then what we're going to do is insert that table of contents. We're on the references tab here at the top. And what we want to do is go to the table of contents. I'm going to go ahead and click this drop down here and you have a few that are built in. If it tells you to insert the automatic table two, you would select this one. But you also have the option of inserting a custom table of contents. With that, you'll be able to do things like show the page numbers, write a line, change your tab leader. You can do different formats, and then you can also show different levels. We we'll go ahead and click OK. When we insert that, it tells us that it didn't find anything to put in there. So what we could do to change that is we have New Hampshire here. Let's go ahead and select that text. We're going to go to the Home tab, and we're going to select Heading 1. We'll select Massachusetts. We'll also select heading one. And now if I go back to this section, we're also told that we should be able to update a table of contents. Now that we've applied those settings, if I right click here and click update fields, notice it went ahead and put those two headings that we created into the table of contents. And then the final thing that this subdomain tells us that we need to be able to do is to insert a cover page. To do that, we want to go to the insert tab here at the top and then under pages, we want to go ahead and put in cover page and it gives you a list of ones that you can select. It'll tell you within the task which one to insert, but we'll go ahead and select this Austin one. And notice it went ahead and it put that at the very beginning of our document. Thank you for watching this video. My hope always as I create new content is that my viewers feel better able to carry out tasks in Microsoft. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you get a notification when I release my next video. Do you have a suggestion on a video that I should make? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you want me to create. That way I can better help you.